is the scaffold so if you're physical in action we are on week 11 day five so it's your spiced up day <sighs> are you liking it so far <laughs> okay so same deal as monday and wednesday um except we're going to do our crisscross long stride backwards um and then we'll run and then we'll finish with a crisscross sideways backwards um to actually just you know cool her off do your best i mean if you could do it through monday and wednesday you should be able to do it today um just listen to yourself if you feel better or if you don't you know sometimes you you just don't feel so good and you may not be able to do it that day just do your best always pushing it to your just the edge of your limit okay always just push it just the little tad over you ready let's do it so we start off going three miles an hour and we bring up the incline to 10. there you go made it up on the chart. So four miles, 11 incline, normal walk. I'm going to do it as it is on the paper or else you guys are going to be all messed up. Wow. 
going out. 13. And I want you to do your crisscross. Down 12 and a half, up the six. Down to four. Down to 10, up to 6.5.
Down to 7.5. Up to 7. Back down to four, running. Catch your breath, towel off, Get some water. Down to five, up to 7.5, give it your best. Back down, down to four. One minute here. Let your heart settle in. Drop it to 3.5, long stride. Chill.
and then that. Can you zoom in into the pain and fat that's crying out of the body? Like, right, gross there. It's disgusting, isn't it? Ah. Hopefully, you guys made that through Woo. and got some good sweat out of it. And uh, I need you to stretch a little bit. Tomorrow's meditation is an internal scan. So it's a bit of a blend of everything that we've done before. So you're gonna be focusing a lot on certain areas that you kind of have to imagine. So quad stretch. Um, so it's a good meditation to practice and to let yourself kind of go. You may think that you're inventing stuff. Who cares if you do? But what I want you to really pay attention to is the sensation you get out of it. And how you feel when you're done that meditation. Because if you practice stuff like this on a regular basis, trust me, you would feel like a totally different person. Hamstrings up if you can. Both feet even. Toe towards you, butt out. And if you can, go down. But don't go down like this. Go down like this. Other side. Big feet. Toe up. But out. Straight back. Calves. Push. you know, fighting your demons like we talked about in the very beginning of this challenge. Basically, that's what I'm doing. So think of anything that kind of takes you away from that spot of thinking that you're actually running on the treadmill. Every once in a while, I'm counting, so I know every 20 steps or something, I'll check to where the time is, because depending on the speed that you're going, it doesn't match. Trust me, it doesn't match. Um, but it's a really good way of actually getting through this. So. I will see you tomorrow at meditation and I hope you have a great weekend. See ya!